New data suggests that roughly 40% of the prepaid electricity meters controlled by ESCOM, the city of Joburg, and Etekwini are non-vending, which may indicate a mass meter fraud problem for the authorities. While experts have long suspected that there may be a mass meter fraud problem in the country, the technology used in the majority of meters is very rudimentary, which has made the scale of the issue difficult to track. However, a massive prepaid electricity meter update may have lifted the lid on the problem. Let's talk about it. In the past year, ESCOM and a host of municipalities have made significant progress in updating the prepaid electricity meters in their distribution zone before they all stop working on 24 November this year. The update was necessary owing to a quirk in the way that the meters are designed, which essentially means that they'll run out of new combinations on that date. The problem is not actually unique to South Africa. There's 70 million prepaid electricity meters spread across 100 countries with the same issue happening on the same date. To perform the update, two 20-digit numbers need to be generated and entered into every meter and they will be ready to vend electricity beyond the rollover date. To get these update numbers into customers' hands, most authorities decided to give them to users when they bought an electricity token meaning that they would receive three 20-digit numbers to enter into their meter instead of the normal one. After entering all three, the meter would be ready to vend the electricity beyond the rollover date. Thankfully, authorities said that the majority of customers were able to do this successfully without requiring assistance. This meant that the majority of authorities flew through the beginning of their project, updating a large amount of meters in a relatively short amount of time. However, ESCOM and other authorities then hit a plateau, with very few meters being updated after the initial rush. Why did this happen? Because authorities were distributing the update tokens when meter owners bought electricity credit, it meant that anybody not buying electricity credit would not be given their update tokens. These meters, which were not being updated, were classified as non-vending. There are several reasons why a meter may have been classified as non-vending. First of all, a meter owner may have bulk bought electricity credit, in which case they wouldn't regularly be buying more credit, in which case they wouldn't be given their update tokens. Alternatively, the home where the meter is situated might be somebody's holiday home, in which case they're not visiting the location often and not buying new credit. However, Officials from the city of Johannesburg and Salga told News24 that the most likely reason a meter is non-vending is because of fraud. This fraud can take two forms. First of all, the meter could have been bypassed, in which case current is taken directly from the mains to supply the household without passing through the meter, or through something called ghost vending which is where criminals are able to generate electricity tokens through non-official means using stolen security keys. This revenue doesn't go to the municipalities or to ESCOM. Currently, there are 2.6 million ESCOM prepaid meters, which would have received their update numbers had they bought an electricity token, meaning they are non-vending. ESCOM has been stuck close to that figure for well over a month now. Metros have been reporting their progress with the update on a dashboard maintained by Salga. In the past few weeks, several metros, including the city of Johannesburg and Etiquini, have removed vast numbers of meters from the dashboard. In Johannesburg, over 130,000 meters were removed from the dashboard because they were non-vending. This is roughly 45% of all the meters installed in the metro. In Etiquini, 175,000 meters were removed from the dashboard. This is 40% of all the meters in the metro. The non-vending numbers revealed through the TID rollover project are a concern for municipalities as electricity revenue is the lifeblood of municipal revenue, often accounting for over 50% of the revenue generated by a municipality. If a large proportion of the non-vending meters are non-vending because of fraud, it means that these authorities are supplying electricity to a large number of clients who are not paying for the service. 
This places a large pressure on infrastructure and authorities' balance sheets. Authorities have vowed to clamp down on the problem through revenue protection measures, but it remains to be seen whether they will be able to taper the mass meter fraud problem in the country.